decided to turn this down to uh, one inch and only have a small portion on the end, the uh, inch and three eighths. We're about, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. We're about three or four under. But that dimension don't mean much. I just wanted to get some of the weight off of it. Okay, we are uh, finding the center on this. I've uh, got a believe V block here. And I've got a half inch uh, parallel here. I've already had it down in there once. Uh, that's I had to loosen it up because I didn't have a V-block down on there, but it's lined back up now. Just slides up and down. That's a half inch dial pin. And I uh, this is the wrench I made for my mill. It didn't come with one. It was supposed to have, but it didn't show up. And that's the hammer on that end and a socket on that end to take uh, to loosen up the draw bar and uh, the soft mallet part of it is to uh, hit the screw where it drop a so uh, the uh, collet down okay what we're gonna do now is coming off of the center line uh, 480 thousandths All right, here we go. I hope that's right. Lower down, we're going to ram this hole four millimeters.
I think I broke a reamer. I'll be back. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It broke off a little piece in there. Uh, and we got it out. And we finished reaming it. We ground the end off of that uh, reamer. I had it running too slow is what it was. And I didn't... Uh, I didn't have no oil on the reamer. I had some down in the hole, but I didn't have none on the reamer. But we got her in there, so we're going to uh, knock this pin in, and then we'll be back. Here is the reamer. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I just ground a little bit off of the bottom of it, get it back flat, and uh, finished reaming it over to drill press. I think it'll work out. This is a... Uh, old wheel off of a uh, table saw that uh, went bad. The motor burned up on it and I still got uh, a few of the pieces. But this is the wheel, the adjustment that just the angle of the blade when you was cutting angles. And uh, it's got that D shape in it. That's the reason I cut the flat on this. It'll It'll fit right in there, like that. Then we're going to put this screw in there, but i got to get a washer first. Tighten it up. I'll put it on the machine after I get the washer and bring y'all back. Okay, we got her all put together here. I got the screw in it and a little washer on it. Got the pin in it. Now all we gotta do is fit it up here. There it goes. Works just fine. I'm gonna get the the uh, power hooked up to this someday. <laughs> uh, there was a guy gonna come over and do it to here a while back, and uh, it's about the second week. Uh, well, he was gonna do it the first week in February. And uh, then this virus stuff started, and uh, I told him just wait and let's see how this pans out. And uh, he called me back in about uh, a week and a half, and I told him, no, nah, we're going to wait. I said, I ain't having nobody over here. Uh, and uh, it ain't been nobody over here. Shut the school down, too. I ain't been nowhere uh, except uh, the grocery store in uh, about a month and a half so I think about the second week in uh, uh, February we went and got pizza but uh, I was real careful then too but we got this done and uh, at least we can get out in the shop now our backs uh, uh, doing a little better and uh, we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, I still got one more. No, I still got one more piece to make. I'm going to make this little piece right here to pull this in and out and get rid of this. Well, I'll keep this screw, but it'll have a little bitty aluminum piece around it. So I'll come back when I get start making that. Okay, I got the little piece made, but I forgot to turn the camera on. There it is there. It just pulls this in and out. And uh, this, I made it deep enough where it'll fit over that. And then it, uh, it uh, turns and uh, operates the, Coil, and then this will operate. I ain't got no power on it, so I can't do it in automatic. But the... 
So, I guess this little project is done. We can stick a fork in it. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a safe and uh, blessed day. And uh, remember, six foot apart. God bless and good evening.